What up, everybody? Ghost Season 4, Episode 1. While Monet was in a coma after being shot by Tasha St. Patrick at the end of Season 3, she had a dream where she was watching herself getting operated on. In this dream, Monet saw a lot of skeletons from her past. First, she saw both of her baby daddies, Mecca and Lorenzo, who she was involved in both of their deaths. Then she saw her oldest son, her baby, who she had lied to his whole life, telling him she was his auntie. But notice while Monet was in a coma having this dream, she was trapped in an interrogation room. This could be a clue that was right in front of our faces that Monet will end up in prison. Considering that Mary J. Blodge is getting paid 400 k an episode, and the main reason why Ghost is getting canceled is because the actors are becoming too expensive. So it's more cost effective to kill some of the characters off, send some to prison, and continue the story of a few characters while bringing in cheaper actors, aka new characters, into the storyline. But at the same time, I hope stars learn from the end of Power when they killed off so many characters that they should write some characters off by sending them to prison. That way the possibility always exists that a character could come back into the story later on down the line. Even if a character returned after a 10 year bid like Kanan or Lorenzo, it would almost be as iconic as if Ghost returned after faking his death. If a main character like Monet or Tariq received a life sentence at the end of book two, only to get released on a technicality in the final episodes of the next book. But considering Mary J's salary, I do think that Monet is one of the characters whose story will be coming to an end either through death or prison at the end of book two. I think that Monet and Davis will both most likely have their stories coming to an end simply because Method Man and Mary J are getting paid the most. And their characters did help elevate Power Book 2 after the departure of James St. Patrick when many thought Power wasn't going to survive. Now that some of the other characters have become fan favorites through Book 2, they will not have to carry more weight in one of the next books. Leaving the question, if Monet's story does end in prison, at least for now, how will it all go down? What will Monet go to prison for? Will someone set her up to take the fall for something? Or will she get caught for something she actually did and by the book, like the feds like to say in the power universe? Because if it's not by the book, this always leaves the door open for the character to return in the future. Right now being extorted by Carter's task force, the Jihadists are so hot if anybody knew, they would avoid doing business with them. In addition to that, all the murders and bloodshed that is connected to them. Even without being charged of any crimes yet, it's already public knowledge that Monet killed Detective Whitman in self-defense, either though the cops know that's bullshit. In addition to the fact that Lorenzo was killed outside her bar, her son Zeke was shot to death on the same night as his father Mecca. Not to mention in season 1 Tommy shot at Monet's bar. Something else has public knowledge because Whitman was trolling Monet about that in season 3. Then adding the fact that Monet even got shot herself. The Tejadas are hot to say the least. The part 2 trailer shows that the Tejadas will have even more run-ins with law enforcement. Starting with the cliff that has Drew in jail. So we already know that Drew's going to jail at some point. Then there's another clip of Detective Felicia Lewis and Nico Cowder running into Monet's house like they're doing a raid. And Cowder has his gun pointing at Monet in another clip. That's in addition to the other clip from the trailer with Detective Carter pointing his gun at Monet with Tariq and Diana behind her. So with all this heat, in addition to the clues, could Monet actually get away clean once again? Like Diana told Whitman when he asked if she could get proof of Monet committing a murder. She said Monet is way too good at what she does. When Drew caught his first body, Monet didn't even blink an eye. She quickly gathered the money and went to the car. By that time, Monet had been in the life for probably close to 20 years and was unbothered. In the second half of the season, if we get any more flashback scenes, we could potentially see how Monet caught her first body. When Carter gave Monet his terms, his main rule is that no innocent blood is shed. But it could already be too late because Monet has innocent blood on her hands. The kill that comes to mind the most that could come back to haunt Monet is the contractor from season 2. 
She killed the contractor because she thought he stole money from her bar when his crew was repairing the window that was shot up by Tommy Egan. But it was actually Diana who took the money to get Lorenzo out of prison. The thing about this kill is we never saw what Monet did with the body afterwards. Whitman said in season 3 that the contractor was missing. But Monet came home wearing the same clothes so she definitely didn't bury that body. And at this point Ramirez and her boy Al were both out of the picture. And her kids weren't involved in this kill because they were all waiting for her at their house. So depending on what she did with this body, it might end up getting found and Monet would be the primary suspect because Whitman was already looking into her. And it would be interesting if Carter was able to get a hold of Whitman's files and look into Monet because he would also find out that Whitman was looking into Monet over the death of another innocent, Professor Carrie Milgram. The cops considered Carrie's death a suicide, but Whitman knew Monet was involved and even had a statement from Zeke and Monet on a traffic cam light in the area. Carrie's death is different than most from the Power Universe because it happened off screen. So we don't actually know all the details of what happened and if Monet had help. Because to make it look like Carrie took her own life but still leave behind no evidence or sign of struggle would have been difficult. So I've been thought that Davis could have possibly helped Monet with that. Keep it in mind in season 2, Sax told Davis he had blood on his hands. Lauren is actually still alive and well, so could that had a double meaning in also talking about Davis' involvement in Carrie's murder? And if Monet does end up in prison, her story will end how Lorenzo started in season 1 of Ghost, locked up, almost coming full circle. And keep in mind that the dream scene that Monet had with Lorenzo and Mecca was in an interrogation room. What if that also has a double meaning and Monet could have been responsible for both Mecca and Lorenzo getting locked up? Mecca got locked up when they were around 16. What if Monet set him up once she found out that she was pregnant to get Dante out of the way? And Lorenzo got locked up when their kids were still young and had been locked up for 10 years at the time of Ghost Season 1. Again, what if Monet played a part in setting up Lorenzo because she felt like he was in her way and didn't like taking orders from him, so she put him on the inside so she could run things her own way, but still have a strength in the streets through Lorenzo's name. And with that said, could Monet possibly even get locked up in the same type of way by getting set up by somebody? And if Monet were to get set up, we could look at the same people who tried setting her up in Season 3, her own children, Drew and Diana. Even though they're all on better terms now, they've proven time and time again that they can't be trusted. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.